Welcome to My Shift Setup, a series where I talk with real Shift users about how they've customized their browser. I'm Michael Fouché, VP of Product here at Shift. If you're new to Shift, it's the world's first fully customizable browser where you can drag and drop components to build your very own browser. From there, add spaces and apps to match your workflow. Let's dive in. Today, I'm very excited to talk to Doug Middleton. He's our VP of operations here at Shift. How are you doing, Doug? Fantastic. Thank you, Michael. It's been an amazing experience to have you here at Shift in this role. And since you've been here, you've had your hands in a lot of different areas of what we do in all of our different departments. I'm just wondering, how does this role shape the way you've set up your digital workspace? Yeah, no, great question. I think it's, if anything, forces me into being as efficient as possible and trying to streamline my workflows. And thankfully, Shift really allows me to do that. Yeah, so what you can see here, Michael, this is this space is my daily driver. This is where I kind of find myself in, in most cases. But really what I have here is just a couple bookmarks and main apps that follow me around. Jira, Asana for ticketing, and I use Coda for kind of my own personal workspace to keep everything organized. And then Sheets and Docs kind of follow me around everywhere I go. Communication, email, Slack, calendar, a little bit of GPT, you know, to keep things interesting. So yeah, essentially my daily driver. And the other space that I have here is different apps that I'm less frequent in. But at the same time that I spend a little bit more time in, so I'm not moving around so much. So whether I'm, you know, deep diving into Google Analytics or Search Console, setting OKRs with Viva, I'm sketching projects out in Miro. And this is just kind of my window where I try to not be as distracted because I know I'm going to be diving into a project for, for probably about a half an hour. I keep the same kind of ticketing and docs and sheets available because, again, they kind of seem to follow me around everywhere I go. But I can just kind of move this aside in a separate window and just kind of keeps everything nice and organized. Then I have my personal space here with a, a couple different email accounts, one of which I, I compile my kids' emails to forward through and kind of keep things organized from school and whatnot. And then just, you know, personal apps. And but if I need to, to duck in and just quickly, you know, buy something on Amazon, it's right here and available. And then I'm back in my daily driver. A couple key things that I really like is a big shout out to Matt. This right side rail just kind of hit it out of the park for me, especially if I'm, you know, working on a laptop on a work trip and I want to split on two browsers and one screen. It keeps everything really clean because as Matt said, by kind of UI design, everybody kind of embeds a left rail in terms of websites. So it just really keeps it organized for me. And then I'm a really big fan of the, um, the web pages on the right here and just keeping everything super clean. So you've got this sort of top bar, right bar layout. And in the top right, that's where your tabs are? My tabs are right here. Exactly. So I have a spacer here. And one other thing that I really like, this setup kind of forces me by design not to go overkill on tabs. You know, like if, if I go back five years ago, I would have had hundreds and hundreds of tabs. And, and I have kind of forced myself to, to minimize that. But this really ingrains that. So what will happen here as I add more tabs, it will pop down. But then after a while, because of the space buffer, it keeps there. But I can scroll through them on the right here, which I just find so awesome because it just really allows it a quick access, cut them out. It's less distraction and it just keeps everything clean and organized. Now, you've got me curious, what goes into the interesting folder? It could be anything, honestly. Um, articles that I actually want to read and I don't just want summarized with AI. People that I follow on, you know, different platforms, whether it's Medium or LinkedIn that are posting stuff that I just want to digest. Now that you've spent all this time with our new Shift browser, what is the feature that you think saves you the most time or is your favorite feature? I don't know if it's a feature specifically, but it's the ability to customize my browser for exactly what works for me in my workflow. You know, I've, I've played around with a lot of browsers, obviously, and, and testing things out. But the way I have my setup right now is so perfect for me that I just couldn't imagine switching to any other browser. Now, did you come from Chrome before you moved to Shift? Yeah, yeah. Were you a big profile user in Chrome at any point? Yeah, I mean, I, I dabbled in it, right? Like, I, I tried to set things up, and, and I like my setups and and customize what i can but nothing has really been able to replicate what what shift has going on so you're finding the spaces feature obviously as a valuable component to separate the different parts of your life your home 
your work, your deep dive work, and you seem to have another work. There is actually one more feature that I want to talk about that has curbed a uh, an irk of mine. Notifications is something that bothers me and the consistent pushing of notifications, opt-in, you know, email notifications, Slack notification, everything. And the thing that I love about Shift is in my main workspace here, I have these little red icons, right? And the notifications, number of emails I have, Slack messages. So I can stay focused in my daily driver here without being bombarded with notifications, but clearly see what needs my attention, right? So again, it's and I kind of have a mental prioritization of, you know, Slack, email, tickets of, of what needs to come through and get my attention. So I just know here it's clean, it's minimal, and most importantly, no desktop notifications. So there's actually one other thing that I just found out the other day that I think is so cool. I'm sure you know of it, but I'm sure a lot of people don't. So if I go through here to one of my apps, I can set this as my anchor app, and this is gonna pull in my avatar for my email right here. Because this is set as my anchor, this app, if I double click onto it, it's gonna come straight into the app that I've set as the anchor, which is my email, which is honestly one of the main things that I'm jumping into, as I'm sure everybody else is. That's fantastic. Well, Doug, is there anything else you wanted to share that I've missed? You know, the only thing that, that I want to share is that I just encourage people to set things up, right? And I think that's the biggest thing is sometimes it, it's a bit of a jump to move from something that you're comfortable with to, to try something new. But the biggest thing for me was once I took a little bit of time, and honestly, it wasn't even that much to really get things dialed in for exactly what I wanted to see. Well, first of all, you know, wasn't even aware of how customizable everything was until I really jumped in. Um, I think at first glance, you kind of think, oh, okay, maybe I can move something around here. But literally everything is customizable, can be moved around to exactly the way that you want to see it. So spending a little bit of time to, to really uh, take a step back, think about what benefits you, um, whether that's personal preferences or specifics to your workflow, and then going ahead and action on it and give it a run. And I guarantee you're going to keep coming back. I hope people who watch this video take that advice when they set up Shift. And you're absolutely right. It is, as I mentioned, the world's first 100% customizable browser. You can change the interface any way you want and build it exactly for your workflow. And that's apparently what you showed us today, which is fantastic. So Doug, I want to thank you for your time today. This is great. And I hope to check in with you again to see in the future if anything has evolved in your workspace. Yeah, no, my pleasure.